In this family, they have been through a lot. Their home was destroyed by the fire. Then they hired a contractor who they say they paid, and then he turned around up and left. So now their daughter, this little girl, is on a mission to raise money to get them home. Stand to raise money for my house. It burned down two years ago. In an open letter to the Kane Show, I'm trying to help them by raising money at my lemonade stand this Saturday. Ten year old Alyssa De La Sala turning devastation into hope. We're making strawberry and regular lemonade. We're having cupcakes. Her motto when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. It's like when life hands you a problem. Make a solution, so I was thinking I can have a lemonade stand to help with the house. During spring break in 2013, her family had gone to the mall. 20 minutes later, getting a call that forever changed their lives. And then to pull up and just see everything blazing. Alyssa's parents, Jen and Joe, saying they hired Davis Ventures to rebuild. Two years later, only half of the work is done. There was no paint. Um, not all of this electrical work was done. Leaving them picking up the pieces. People that we thought were paid didn't get paid and there's liens on the house and we could lose it and it's just been a total drain on us uh, mentally. That's when their daughter, with the help of her brother, stepped up. I hear stuff on the Kane Show about how people have like lemonade stands to raise money. The word of her fundraiser already spreading. Well, I heard it on the radio and you know as a department when people call 911 we're always there on their worst day. So I thought this would be a great opportunity especially for the crews to get out there and meet the family and really help and do something good. A simple act to help one little girl. You guys rock. Love, Alyssa. Get home. It would make me feel happy that I have an actual home that I can live in. The fundraiser is this Saturday at their house on Groveland Drive in Lutz from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. I tweeted out a link with all the details. You can find me at Christy Post. But back to that contractor, Davis Ventures. We looked into the company, finding they have several judgments. Take a look at all these totaling $600,000. Well, turns out they have been stiffing several subcontractors in Tampa Bay who are filing liens against homeowners because they aren't being paid by the contractor, which is sadly how the system works. Well, I called the company several times today, even emailed them to get their side of the story. We haven't heard anything yet. Well, if you are hiring a contractor, here are some things you need to know. The best advice is look up complaints on the Better Business Bureau website. You can also contact your county and state construction license.